I know you said you want a natural labor, but the baby isn't cooperating. Doctor, we need to proceed immediately with the C-section. Damara, we need a consent from your husband. I don't have one. Then from your partner or some relative? I'm the lover of a married man. He told me he was divorcing his wife, but he hasn't done it. Nurse, please grab the patient's phone. Immediately. Call her lover and forgive us, but we can go on with a concert. Okay, don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? Trust me. It's him. Hello? Look, she's in the hospital now. Please? She's so stupid. I, uh, be careful. I'm sorry, sorry. Baby? What a surprise. You never come to visit me. Baby, it, it's just, well, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, well, what do you say when I finish my shit? Baby, baby, I'm sorry. I just really have to use the bathroom. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, are you okay? I need to do something right now. Come on, think, think, think. I know what I'm going to do. Can you explain to me? Why the hell do you come to the exact same hospital where my wife works? Your wife? You're a bastard. You told me that you were divorced. And that you only had eyes for me. Oh, sweetie. I only have eyes for you. But that includes my wife as well. So you're going to ask for a change of hospital right now. Well, maybe that way we can start over and tell her all the truth. And then build her family. Are you stupid or what? This is the last time I tell you. Either get a sit section, but get out of here now. I wanted to be born naturally, but the baby's not cooperating. How is your mom to be doing? Uh, excuse me, who are you and what are you doing here? I is the father of my baby. You should have started there. But why are you dressed like a nurse? Listen, little nurse. I want you to proceed with the C-section on her. I meant now, understood? I can't proceed if she doesn't want to. <laughs> Are you stupid or deaf? That's an order. Look, if she wants the C-section, we'll do the C-section. It's her body and she decides. Did you understand? I don't care what she asks for. Did you hear? <laughs> What's your problem? <sighs> Nurse, have we reached contact with the child? Yes, doctor. Here he is. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you. Are you all set for the lady? <sighs> Dr. Andrea Torres, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, doctor. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, a little sick, that's all. <laughs> I think I need to get out of here, excuse me. Damara, is everything okay? It's just I'm very scared, doctor. Don't worry. I'm right here to help you. You'll see everything will be fine with your baby. It's not that. I was an idiot. I thought my baby's father was going to divorce his wife, but it wasn't like that. Listen, honey. You don't need a man to get your child ahead. I just... He... He promised me eternal love and that he was going to be with me in the good and the bad. That's my husband. That's your husband? Ah! Ah! I think he's coming this time. Ah! Nurse, let's get to the surgery room. Ah! Don't worry, sweetie. We'll get to right there. Ah! Ah! Baby, I'm glad you finished your shift. So do you want to go eat somewhere? Yes, I'd love it if you take me to my favorite restaurant. Absolutely. For my wife, what she asks. The only woman in my life. Well, but before that, I'd like to give you a surprise. Oh uh, yeah? What is it? Follow me and you will see.
Congratulations, that of the year. It was a girl. Baby, I... For how long have you been making a fool out of me? Listen, my love. I swear to you, it was just a small slip. You are the one. She's nothing else than a mistake. I love you. You're such an asshole. So cynic. So then it was true? Jesus is your husband? Damara, you shall be arrested. Listen, you get out of here, you damn bitch. You see what happened because of your empty head? I don't want to hear a thing from you. And you know what? You won't hear anything from me or my baby never again. Well, that's what I hope for. <sighs> Damara, come here, sit down. Are you okay? Honey, just leave her like that. She's not worth it. Let's go, baby, okay? Don't call me baby. I want you to get all of your things out of my house. Tomorrow I will start with the divorce papers. No, no, you can do this to me. I don't have a place to go. Oh, well, if I was the one and you still made a mistake, go on, make any other mistake somewhere, but I want you out. You're going to regret this, because any one of you would be lucky to be with a providing male like I am. Doctor, I'm truly sorry. I never thought about the damage I was doing. I was a bad woman. Hey, no, you're not a bad woman. You two were victims of a misogynistic man. So evil. Who thinks he can have as many women as he wants? That's right. We should support each other as a woman, not being against. This wasn't your fault. Neither was mine. We both were victims of the situation. Like many women. The most important thing is that we support each other as a woman. We shouldn't let a man get over us. Because one empowered woman, were thousands of desperate misogynist men. Tell us what you think about this story, and share yours with us. And who knows, maybe one day we can tell your story here. <laughs>